We've only had a couple of hours to play around with the OnePlus One, but already it's clear to say that we've paid a relatively low amount of money for what feels and acts like a premium smartphone. The phone is nicely packaged and comes with a charger with an EU adapter, a SIM removal tool and a sync cable. There's no manual inside the box, but if you're familiar with Android, we doubt you'll need one. The phone certainly feels big in the hand, but it's not too heavy, and the thinness of the device is also appreciated. The back of the sandstone black edition of the OnePlus One is certainly a unique texture, but it's designed to make the device grippy and enjoyable to hold. We like the material. We're also happy to report that the back of the device doesn't feel like sandpaper, as some forum users have reported in the past. You can use the OnePlus One with one hand, but you'll find that the majority of the time it's easier and quicker to use your other hand for actions that take place at the top of the screen, pulling down the navigation bar for example. The OnePlus One is running a modified version of Android and comes equipped with Cyanogen Mod. For those not familiar with the software, it essentially brings a whole host of customization options that you simply wouldn't find in regular stock Android. From playing with the phone for a couple of hours, we can already see that the 13 megapixel camera on the back of the device is exceptional. It's capable of filming 4K video, but we have noticed that pictures taken with the smartphone come out square rather than landscape filling the whole of the screen. Thanks to Snapdragon, the OnePlus One feels extremely nippy. We were able to open countless apps and run multiple processes and the device is yet to stutter even a tiny bit. We'll have a full review of the OnePlus One arriving on PhoneCruncher.com in the near future.